This is Prefecto Rom checking in for Trade Tax Plus Center of Excellence. This is the first video for May 2020 and deals very quickly with the rules governing the importation, the claiming of input tax on the importation of goods into South Africa. While certain goods are exempt from VAT on the importation over this COVID-19 tax relief period, there's lots of importation items that are still subject to VAT and it is critical that that VAT is claimed correctly, but as soon as possible. So the rules are, are very simple, but they still seem to create some kind of confusion in uh, our day-to-day -day application. The simple rule is that the first date you look at is the date that the goods were cleared for home use. That's the customs, customs procedure, home use. Previously, it was called um, home consumption. So what, once it was cleared for home use, SARS will issue you with a release notification. The release notification will contain the date and the purpose for which it has been released. That puts the peg in the ground. So in that tax period, you will be entitled to the input tax deduction subject to two further hurdles that need to be crossed. The first hurdle is you need to be in possession of the relevant um, documentation. And what is that documentation? Well, it's the SAD 500, and it's also um, the goods release notification that shows the, the date when it was released. So when do you need to be in possession of that documentation? You need to be in possession of that documentation at the time that your VAT return in which your deduction is claimed is submitted. So what is the, uh, an example? So let's assume I clear goods towards the end of March in my March tax period. Then I have until the March return goes in, and that would be at the latest, the 30th of April. Until that date, I have to get all the documentation that I need. So that's the first test. The second hurdle we have to pass is the hurdle of payment, and the same rules apply. Payment of the VAT must be done before the VAT return goes in. It does not need to be made in the tax period in which the deduction is claimed. And that often leads to confusion um, when applying these rules. And also from a SARS perspective, I've seen many instances where SARS disallowed the input tax deduction because it hasn't been paid to SARS in the tax period. That's not a, the, the, the rule. The rule is it must have been paid to SARS by the time my VAT return goes in. So let's look at the same example. The goods are cleared in March, provided that I, let's assume I, I put my return in on the uh, 30th of April. If I paid the VAT on the 30th of April and I am in possession of the SARS receipt on that date, then um, I'll be able to claim the VAT deduction in the March tax period. Okay, so that's a, a reminder of, of the rules. Um, be careful that, that you don't fall foul of not complying the, with those rules, but also be careful that you don't get assessed while you're actually complying with the relevant rules. For now, it's me, Christo Rong, checking out for Trade Tax Plus, Center of Excellence. Be safe.